What happens if Taco Bell and McDonald's have a baby? They make a Big Mac crunch wrap. But if you were to make this in all of its carb glory, it would be around 36 carbs. Let's see if we can make it low carb instead. In order to have that true Big Mac flavor, you gotta have a special sauce. Luckily, it's easy to make low carb. You just need a half a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup, a tablespoon of vinegar. I'm using white vinegar, but apple cider vinegar works. A tablespoon of either minced dill pickles, or if you're lazy like I am, just get the dill pickle relish. Special sauce is kind of sweet, so I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of sugar-free sweetener, then a teaspoon of finely diced onions. Stir that together, and then add salt and pepper to taste. We'll set it aside so all the flavors can come together, and we'll focus on the Taco Bell portion of this recipe. So we need to talk tortillas. Many keto crunch wrap recipes will have you fry up a flour tortilla, but the traditional Taco Bell crunch wrap uses a corn tostada shell, a hard shell. Since making your own keto tostada shells from scratch is fairly easy, that's what I'm gonna do instead. Plus it just tastes more authentic even though it's the farthest thing from it. I'm gonna make my own by adding a half a cup plus two and a half tablespoons of almond flour to a bowl, followed by one tablespoon of unflavored protein powder. This is going to help crisp up your tostada shell, so don't leave it out. A half a teaspoon of xanthan gum to help hold it together, a quarter teaspoon of salt for flavor, and after it's mixed, stir in three tablespoons of hot water. Before I show you how to go from that to this, I wanna share something that happened to me the other day. The other morning, I went downstairs to work out, lift weights like I normally do. I had already done a Peloton ride and it was leg day, so I was doing some pretty strenuous exercises. Kinda of stood up a little bit too fast too and I was so dizzy and nauseous. Just felt so incredibly tired all of a sudden. And I immediately knew what was happening, so I slowly went upstairs and grabbed a packet of Element Electrolytes, mixed that up with some water, and probably within like 10 to 15 minutes felt so much better. Since I was doing strenuous exercise and I hadn't eaten anything yet, I was also probably dehydrated from the other day, I got super low in electrolytes. Luckily, I have Element, who's the sponsor for today's video, to thank for getting me back on track so I could finish my workout. Their science-backed electrolyte formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium helped to rehydrate and got me feeling back to normal. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order, so you get eight single-serving packets free with any Element order. Just go to drinkelement.com slash ketofocus. This deal's only available through my link, so you have to go to D R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash keto focus. Now to turn this big ball into four tostadas. So divide the dough into four small balls. Place the ball in between two sheets of parchment circles. Then use a tortilla press to flatten them. If you've seen me make keto tacos, crunch wraps, or tortillas before, you know I'm a huge fan of this tortilla press. And we're using it twice in this recipe, so don't put it away after you've flattened all of your balls to make your tostadas. Then we fry these into hard shells. In a skillet, you're gonna pour a little bit of avocado oil, enough to cover your shell, and then heat it to medium heat. Once the oil's hot enough, just add one shell and submerge it. Let it fry for several minutes until it starts to harden or get golden brown on the bottom, and then you flip it over and continue to cook it some more. After it's done, remove it and transfer it to a paper towel lined plate. Back to our Big Mac concept, it's time to make burgers. This recipe makes four crunch wraps, and in a Big Mac, you have two patties, so that means we have to have eight patties. So you need to divide your ground beef into eight equal-sized balls. Now that's not a lot of beef, and we don't wanna end up with these like slider-sized hamburger patties, so we need to maximize the surface area to really flatten it out. See where I'm going with this? Yes, I'm using the tortilla press to flatten my burger patties. A burger press would probably work too, but this is so much more fun. It just makes me wonder what else I could flatten. These are way too thin to grill, so I'm gonna quickly sear them on a skillet over high heat. Season with a little bit of salt, and you can see they still shrink, but not down to the size of a 50 cent piece. So we got the sauce, the tostada shell, the burgers are ready, now we just have to assemble it all together. First, you need a large tortilla. This is a 10 inch tortilla. You're also gonna need a small tortilla, and these look around four inches. Both of these are low carb. Since the large tortilla doesn't cover the bottom when you fold it, that's why you have to use the small tortilla. You'll see when I get to that part. Lay down your large tortilla, then add sliced American cheese, followed by one patty, a teaspoon of special sauce, then a half a teaspoon of diced onions, a teaspoon of dill pickle relish, and a sprinkling of shredded lettuce. Top with your keto tostada shell, then another patty, more sauce, onion, dill pickle, shredded lettuce, 
and another slice of cheese. Then you're gonna top it with your small tortilla. Carefully fold the edges around. You see how you had to have that small tortilla now? To seal this, flip it seam side down onto a skillet that we've sprayed with cooking spray. Let it cook for several minutes. You might actually have to just press it on there too. This will help really seal those edges together. Plus it kind of helps flatten them. And let it cook for several minutes until golden brown, then flip and cook the other side. Once you slice into it, the cheese is perfectly melted and it looks like a Big Mac inside. Tastes like a Big Mac, but it reminds me of Taco Bell. If this got you saying, Yo quiero Taco Bell. Then click here because I show you how to make a keto copycat version of the Taco Bell's Crunch Wrap Supreme and Doritos Locos Tacos.